CaptionPop is a great tool for language learners that want to be able to search YouTube and watch videos with captions in multiple languages at once. Um, this is a great feature to have if you're trying to develop your listening comprehension skills. So the first thing you're going to do is load up www.captionpop.com in your desktop or mobile browser. And then the next thing we're going to do is select our native and target languages. So for me, obviously my native language is English, so that is selected by default. And the language that I'm studying right now is Korean. So I can select that out of this drop-down list, or I can use my keyboard and search for Korean. And then I just hit the Find Videos button. So uh, there are a couple ways to start looking for videos. The first way is you can search for search terms, just like you do with normal YouTube. Um, or you can use some of the curated content that's been made available to you. So for Korean, there's a few good dramas available you can watch and um, a couple good popular YouTube channels you can start with. Uh, for me, I like hiking, so I'm going to search for uh, 등산, which is the Korean word for hiking. Usually it's good to search for words that are in your target language because you'll tend to find more videos that are actually in Korean. So. I'm going to go ahead and type in Tungsan. And Caption Pop has gone and searched YouTube for videos that have captions. It has found 50 videos in total. Uh, 15 of them have English captions. 37 of them have Korean captions. And three have both English and Korean captions. So uh, I'm going to focus on those videos. But if you want, you can use this filter box to select to see all of the videos as well. So I'm going to start with this one. It looks interesting. And you can see it's just like a regular YouTube player, uh, except you'll notice that the captions have been moved out of the video and the transcriptions have been paired up with their translations into your native language. Now the translations are blurred out so you don't read, you can't read them right away. If you want to see them, you can move your mouse over. And there are timestamps to the left that allow you to jump to any position in the video. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts to um, move back and forward through the videos using the up and down keys. You can use the R button to repeat the last subtitle. You can also use the T button to um, unblur the translation. So that's a helpful feature. I'm going to search to find something that looks a little more interesting. So around here, it looks like she's going into a restaurant with some friends and uh, ordering some food. So that's interesting. That's something I might say. So she's saying, uh, So this sandwich, this is a fat sandwich. This was a fat sandwich. So I could see myself saying this in real life, so I might want to study it later. And I can use this star button to do that. So this star button will add this caption to a list of favorite captions. So I'm going to press that. It's going to ask me to log in with my Caption Pop account. If you don't have one already, you can create one. Um, I already have one, so I'm going to click the login button. And now you'll notice that the star is now black. So if I want to go back and study all of my saved captions, I can use this navigation and go to favorite captions. And you can see it's another YouTube player. Um, but instead of a whole video, it's just a bunch of captions that I've saved at different points. So it's almost like I've taken all of my saved captions and stitched them together into one big video. And you can see at the very bottom of this list is uh, this caption that I just saved. So I can go back, I can replay it, listen to it as much as I want. And then I can also go back and listen to other captions that I've saved. So this is really helpful to develop your listening comprehension skills because sometimes you just need to hear the same phrases over and over again before they start to stick.
So those are the basic features of Caption Pop. Um, hope you like it. If you have any questions or feature requests, please leave me a comment. And uh, thank you for watching.